Hi guys. I am on my way to the bank. Why? Because I have to close my account. Why? Because some idiot has been using my account through some company called Progressive. And it seems like to try and open up cell phone accounts. And Progressive is not helpful because they have three denied transactions, but the one that actually made it through, they don't have any record of it. So now I've got to close all of my accounts and figure all this stuff out as far as all of my, um, everything that I have attached to my account that comes out automatically. Pain in the butt. Like I'm not happy right now. Not to mention that I really don't have any money in there to be waiting weeks and weeks or however long it's going to take the bank to put my money back because I got bills to pay. And I don't have any money that I can have sitting to the side while they figure out while the transaction is still pending. You would think that they'd be able to just stop the transaction since it hasn't processed yet. But no, I got to wait for claims, papers, and all this other stuff. And then I got to go and close my account because if I don't close my account, and something else comes out fraudulently, the bank is not gonna call is not going to cover it. So I don't even I'm very frustrated right now. But that's the way the devil works. Sorry, I can't get this on here. Literally days. And I think it was even yesterday. I posted or posted. Facebook is taking over my thought process. Oh, it's hot in here. I put the video up about not using credit cards. <laughs> Which I'm still not planning to use credit cards, but as soon as I put that video up about trying to get away from using alternative sources of money that are not really sources of money, it's just sources a borrowing to keep you in debt. Something like this will happen. Funny. Not really. But that's the way it works. But no, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about anything. I'm just irritated. No, because I'm watching that church. I'm not worried. No, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about anything. I'm just, I'm extremely frustrated. This is my one day off, and this is what I got to spend my day doing. Taking care of switching over accounts and stuff because some low life. That's what they are. People trying to dig around in other people's hard-earned money to see what they can take and get for free. And the thing that's irritating is if this jerk has gone to different locations and you have record of them trying to open accounts in my name three times. For whatever reason, three times it was denied. Three times it was denied. Why in the heck would you let them open up something for a fourth time? I mean, I just don't get it. And then I call the company um, Progressive Leasing or progressive leases, I call them and they can tell me that there were three attempts made and they can tell me where the attempts were made at. But they have no record of the actual transaction that actually did make it through, that actually did get processed. So I'm like, okay, so you can't see that through progressive, there's over $400 coming out of my account to pay for whatever it seems like because the, they went to Cricket, a Cricket Wireless and then some other place called Best Deals which I've never heard of and then they went to some other uh, I don't know I don't even know what the third place was because I was just getting frustrated after that because he's just like but we don't have a record of an account an active account all the account that we have, they, there were three and they were all denied. So I don't know how somebody was able to take it out. And then the other part that really was getting under my skin with this guy is he constantly kept telling me on the phone,
on. I'm hot. And I, I can't hear with the wind blowing. So I keep putting the windows up and down. He keeps telling me, well, if you authorize somebody to pay, to use your account to pay like an initial bill to get something started. I'm like, I told him like four times that, no, I didn't do that. I would not give anybody my account to pay their bills. That's stupid. Why would I give somebody my account? Why would I be calling you and telling you that there is some unauthorized person person using my information to try to open up these accounts and you keep going back and saying well if you gave somebody access to your account so that they can um, initially get their bills so I've already told you that several times I didn't give anybody my account I don't know what this is and why would I give somebody my account like I almost felt like he was trying to say that I was um, trying to get some money back for letting somebody do something trying to help them get it for free if that makes sense if I'm even saying it right guys I'm tired but it almost you know I was getting offended because he kept saying it after I already told him that's not what happened and then he's like well can you verify the email address I have three email addresses that I use and they it wasn't any of those three and he's like well without the email without you verifying the email just but I verified it through other things but I can't tell you what the email well obviously somebody created an email address using my name which anybody can do so no I'm not gonna know what the other email address is because it wasn't me who created the other email address so basically I spent like 30 minutes on the phone wasting my time because I got nowhere and then the transaction ID that is on the transaction from the bank oh well they couldn't use that because all of their transactions start with a seven so yeah so I'm on my way to close my accounts to basically put it on and broke my fingernail this day is just beautiful how the heck did I do that I'm just, I'm beyond irritated right now. You no, know, it's like, get a life. Get a life. I work way too hard for my money to have some low life sticking around, poking around, and digging, trying to figure out what he can come up with for free. Go get a job. Get some integrity. And the sad part is, is that I'll probably never catch the guy who did it. Or a girl. They'll probably never catch him. And he's probably doing it right now to somebody else or trying to use my account to get into something else. On top of the fact that he's tried three times. How do they try something three times and get denied at different locations and there's not like a, a, a alert or something or a, a flag put on my name and account for somebody trying to use the same thing three times and getting denied? Like, that just makes absolutely no sense to me. that I check my accounts every day because well I'm really checking it now because I'm making sure that I finalize my budget for this month and um, if I hadn't been on there checking it then I would not have even seen it today and I know that there are people who they don't they barely even go on their accounts and check so guys you need to check your account information all the time Do not sit there and be going weeks without going into your account and making sure that everything's okay and not to mention let me tell you two days ago two or three days ago there were two transactions through paypal where they try to verify your account you know they put a couple of two transactions maybe one for a penny and then another one for like 19 cents 17 cents or something like that to verify the account that happened so i called paypal figuring out why are you trying to verify my account they went on and they saw that the account was being verified but they didn't know why it was being verified because there were no purchases coming through the account so they're on the alert they're going they're investigating that and then today this happens now this doesn't have anything to do with paypal this wasn't this was something altogether different but the point is like what the heck is going on 
What the heck is going on? Alright, I am at the bank. So I will come back and finish my rent when I get out of here. Hopefully this will go a little bit more smoothly. Yeah, I'm closing my account. How hard is it to just close my account? Very frustrating. All right, guys, I just left the bank, opened up a new account, but unfortunately, guys, I didn't even think about it. My check is direct deposit, and it's supposed to go in the mail. I mean, go into my account Friday. But I had to close my account, so now, I'm hoping that it's not gonna have to bounce back and then it's gonna, I'm gonna be delayed and get my check because I need my money. So, I already wanna just go home and go to sleep. That's how I'm tired right now. And this is what my day has been like so far. I just wanna go home and go to sleep. I got like so many things coming out of my account. I gotta try to, to narrow down everything and call everything and change it over or hopefully I can just do it on the internet, but like change everything over to new to the new account. But the problem with that is a lot of times that stuff doesn't even take for a month or so. So hopefully the fact that most of this stuff had already come out in the last couple of days prior to this jerk stealing money out of my account, um, hopefully that'll allow enough time for it to be able to kick in so that there's no interruption and then I don't have to manually go on and pay stuff. Like my student loans and all that stuff. But I'm not looking forward to this. So anyway. I have prayer. Which I signed up to do prayer tonight. And then I wanted to go to the movie to see that. Uh, go to the movies. To see the case for Christ. I heard it was really good. But it's not looking like it's going to happen. And today I think is the last day of that movie being in the theater that I want to go to so we'll see what happens but all right guys that's the rest of my venting vlog I'm not happy right now but I'm not gonna let this get the best of me it's inconvenient but everything will it'll be all right I'm just I'm just over it for right now so anyway see you guys next video yeah, he's been suffering through all of this. Mm. Quietly suffering through it all.